a really young age, I had a, a deep excitement and commitment to getting involved. Um, mostly, I'm first generation American, and so I got to watch the struggles and opportunities that my parents were given as they became the United States citizens. I grew up in New Jersey, and I remember going to vote with them, and it was like the most exciting thing. And even something as simple as, you know, Baskin Robbins, 31 flavors. My, there's like this ice cream store, and my mom was. She was just so shocked by the fact that in America you could choose from 31 flavors of ice cream, right? And it's such like, a silly thing, but I remember being so excited about the choice and opportunity to help myself and those around me. So from a really young age, it's been part of my life. I think a great citizen, and this has changed actually, my definition has changed over the past uh, 10 years. I used to think it was about voting and all of these like you know, voting, getting uh, engaged in your election, finding out about your candidates, going to Board of Education meetings, and I think that includes uh, what it means to be a good citizen, but I think really helping those around you, um, being involved in your community, helping your neighbors, I think there's a, a really big definition of citizenship and what, it's, what it means to be a, a contributing and productive member of our society, and I think voting is just really one small slice of it. What skills and knowledge does a great citizen need? I think you have to have patience. <laughs> I think you have to um, you have to be able to see. Um, so, so one of the things that I think is really great is is um, from the people that have been transformative in my life. They have patience, and then they have this sort of persistent ability to see good in other people. And I think that's really important when you're building relationships, especially on the on the community level. I think you have to be a consumer of information, right? It, there's so much coming at you in the society you have to understand who you trust, what sources you trust, what information you trust, and what you find valuable. So being a discerning con consumer of information is also a really important skill. Um, you have to be willing to engage with people who have diverse opinions. So you have to be tolerant, you have to be um, respectful, you have to um, be open-minded. I think that's a really important thing, especially in a, in a society that has so many diverse viewpoints. Uh, and then you have to be, I talked yesterday on the panel about the need of persisting. You need to be persistent because you're going to fail, your candidate's going to lose, you know, the tunnel's going to pass or not pass depending on whatever side you're on and you're going to have to keep going because you can't get knocked down by any of that in the, in the, in the long term uh, citizenship. other Washington uh, and I love for for a person who uh, is first-generation American the life that I get to live in Washington DC is so on a daily basis spectacular you know I've been there for six years and I always stand on the corner of the street as the motorcades come through as President Obama goes from point A to point B I think the, the amount of power, the amount of opportunity that's really embodied in Washington, D.C. by our elected officials, by our uh, organizations, by our lobbyists, I think it's really an impressive force of power. Whether that power is always used for good or bad is something that I wrestle with personally, but it's really just um, such an amazing uh, global community in Washington, D.C. But then I also live on this beautiful street where none of my neighbors look the same as each other, um, the diversity of my neighborhood, the sort of music that you hear late at night, the, the community gatherings that you see over the weekends, it really uh, is a community of people looking out for each other and uh, getting to know one another, so it's really great.